We can use our DNS filter to block botnets. So let's create a new sensor. Let's name it block botnet. Now let's enable the redirect botnet CNC and see the list of botnets. Let's copy one address and let's try to see what happens once we apply that sensor to our firewall policy and try to get to it using our Mozilla browser in our Ubuntu host. All right, now let's open Firefox Mozilla. Let's write down the uh, botnet address and let's see what happens. Now we can see that we are having trouble. Now let's uh, open uh, dig and do a DNS query to that botnet to see what happens behind the scenes. Dig with the name of the botnet and we can see that we have an answer from Fortigard DNS server. That's the default DNS server and it actually dropped the connection. Now we can use other tools such as host to see that there's a server fail. And once we get back to our 48, we can look at the logs, at the DNS query logs to see that the connection was dropped. Now let's go to log and report DNS query and that's the uh, dropped connection due to being included in the DNS botnet CNC.